Whenever you enter a new environment, it's good to figure out what the culture of that place is. What do they believe? How do they talk? How do things work around here? If you know the culture of a place, then it's much easier to live and work there. So what's the culture of our classroom? Well, it's a lot of things, and some of it you'll figure out as you go. But the most important pieces can be summarized into what I call foundations. Foundations. When I use the word foundation, think of a house. It's the lowest part of a house that supports the rest of it. It provides stability. The rest of, it, the, rest of the house is built on top of that foundation. In order for that house to stand, it needs a good, strong foundation. You can think of our foundations as basic beliefs. It's what we believe about life and each other and working together that supports the rest of everything that we do. In this class, we have five foundational layers. First is teamwork, and then effort, perseverance, character, and goal-oriented. With each of these foundational pieces, I believe that we can have a successful class that runs smoothly and is good for everyone. In this video, I want to talk about the first foundation, teamwork. Simply, we have to work together. If we're all in this class with the same goal of learning and enhancing our skills, then we can help each other out, myself included. You can help me and I can help you. You can help me enhance my math skills and my teaching skills, and I can help you with your math skills and your thinking skills. We, we all have our part to play. That can look like you answering somebody else's question. That can look like you asking a question if you don't understand. Um, it really looks like you thinking about yourself a little less to help somebody else with the goal of helping the whole team. I would want these people on my math team, but they all happen to be dead. He's dead, Jeff. So I've got you and you've got me. We can work together. Here are some things to consider. Number one, you aren't the only one in the class. Eventually, you're going to come in contact with somebody else, and with a team mindset, whenever you encounter conflicts or anything that might be difficult, that's easier to do if you're willing to work together and approach it with a more positive, team-centered mindset. And on your own mindset is going to make that quite a bit more difficult. Number two, helping and supporting others is how any good group of people work together. You don't have to be best friends with everyone in order to help them accomplish their goals and for you to accomplish yours. If you have skills and knowledge, share that with other people and they might be able to do the same for you. Helping others might even help you learn better. Who threw away a shoe? Into the garbage, fly boy! Collaboration and teamwork are key to the 21st century workforce. No matter what your career is going to be, you will end up working with other people who need your help. From fast food to the auto shop, from the engineering firm to the recording studio, you will be surrounded by people who need you on their team. But wait, Mr. Irwin, I'm trying to get my grade and do my work. I don't need to do anything for anybody else to get that done. Why are you wearing sunglasses in class? You shouldn't be wearing sunglasses. But, but you're right, it's your work, it's your grade, and you have to take responsibility for that. But you don't have to go at this completely alone. I promise you that you can do much more together. Now this is only gonna happen if we all work together. You may not need anyone else's help to learn the material, but helping someone else might help you more than you think it would. At the very least, Having a teamwork mindset helps us imagine how someone else is feeling and thinking. That's called empathy, and it is so important to how we live and work today. Now, if you've ever been on a sports team, this all probably makes sense to you. If not, just keep in mind that together we can do much more than what you could do alone. So, as a team, let's go out there and win this. We're all in this Hands in. Everybody's hands in? John, your hands in? Rebecca, hands in? All right, there we go, all right. All right, on three, math. Ready? One, two, three, math. 